I know people always talk about the election cycle being a big deal and this it may be a reason because it's the election year in the in the United States that we're seeing a downfall in the type of rates that we're seeing. This has been going on for longer than two years, about 26 to 28 months, depending on who you ask. Some people say it just started this year. I don't know what those people are really smoking, if you ask me. But in any case, the whole point is I want carriers, owner operators, trucking company owners, um, dispatchers alike, freight brokers, shippers as well, to really just look at your own business and seeing how you can survive in this type of market, what you need to do to adjust. Okay, so call this a PSA if you want. You have to look at it because there are companies out there, and I visited a few in the last few weeks that have really grown even in this type of market. They found a niche that works well for them. Some of these companies are from very large cities with a lots of competition. Whereas others are from smaller, medium-sized cities, your 500,000 metro, so to speak, area. And they're doing well for themselves because they have also adjusted in terms of what they're doing, what kind of freight they're moving. But the whole point is, this whole election thing, we, sh we, we should not guarantee that just because one or think that we are guaranteed success if another party takes over. Okay, so which again, granted, maybe that's the best choice for America would be for a new party to come in and do kind of a reset, whether it's a soft reset or a hard reset, to do an actual reset of the entire landscape and see how they can help the American people. Um, hopefully that other party, if they do come into power, consider Americans and America as America first above all else instead of giving a hundred billion dollars to another country and 40 billion dollars to a fake country that doesn't exist um, and that's just terrorizing everybody left right and center and just acting like a, a wild dog on a leash but in in general election cycles should not be something that you yourself should be concerned about you have to adjust your game go back to the drawing board really sit down i'm not talking about just changing the broker you're using or just changing the dispatcher you're using or not servicing one specific shipper and everything else would be better or servicing another and everything will be better i'm talking about you have to look at your business as a whole to see how you can implement better procedures for your company moving forward and that's the whole point. I want you guys to realize this, that you guys shouldn't be dependent on just an election cycle twisting and turning because they're politicians. They are in this specifically for themselves. And every four years, it's the same game. It's the same talk. And it's always this side against that side. There's really no, bipart uh, no bipartisanship in, in terms of uh, uh, the the. <clears throat> different parties joining hands and saying you know what we are really going to take care of the people that's not going to happen you have to take care of your own family your own business for yourself nobody is going to do this for you what may change is certain policies in terms of the amount of tax you have to pay up or down fluctuating at the end of the day you are the one that's primarily responsible for how things are going to go because the government will not help you. Look what happened with Hurricane Helene, for example. How much did the government really help? Not much. How much did they help other countries? A lot. And how did they do this? Through monetary actions, by sending your hard-earned money to these entities, thinking that for their best interest as politicians... It is the best thing for them to do for themselves. They're very selfish. They're self-centered. And it's always been this way. If you can tell me a time where it wasn't this way, please let me know in the comments how that time was. If it was outside of maybe my, uh, my life, I've been around since 1989. I've only been a functioning um, person in terms of uh, being employed and paying taxes since I was about 15 years old. Um, where I my first job was uh, cleaning cars. That was my first uh, registered job where I actually worked. Um, but 
let me know what your thoughts are in terms of how do we move forward? Are there ideas or solutions or things you guys can share with the general public as to what they can do? My theory is theory, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't have to be called a theory, but um, control what you can control. Okay, influence what you can influence in the positive light and move forward and help everybody that you can help um, to the best of your knowledge and always try to do the right thing. Okay, if you put the effort forward into doing the right thing, you will ultimately do the exact thing you said you would do. It's where people fall short is over promising and under delivering or they lie, they manipulate. Don't be those people. Okay. So thank you very much for listening this far. Please give a, a like, a comment, a subscribe to the channel, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.